Oke. Okay. Right, we're back. Pokedex has been updated because I got I got beat up by a person. Yeah, makes sense. Granted, I made some good explor exploration progress and all of that. Let us turn on the faulty tech tab and uh, let me get into the actual thing real quick because I have to change out my team, which could be both good or bad. I might need to try and level again. Okay, the Tynamo doesn't actually stay there because I, he's not new and he was caught because it was just a raid Pokemon. But jeez. Alright, we're up to 26 Pokemon now. So my yeah. team can vary so much. It's a bit terrifying. So let us pick my new swaps. Alright, 2, 4, and 6. So both of my Char Cadets are gone, but we get Mankey in replace, and then Little and Cloth. Little is close to reasonable level. Sure. So that's my new team as of now, and I guess we'll start making our way towards oh I was gonna say what is that oh alright Claude Sire let's uh, use you to get some levels on some things. How about that? Yeah. You definitely get the most of it, but still. Just working towards it a little bit at a time. Yep, just stand here and beat up on a bunch of Murkrow. While I look around. Oh, right. Still forgot to get you in here. Yep. Okay, portal. I can just do this from here, right? A uh, union circle? Yeah, form a group. I was just very busy in my own head doing this stuff. All good, man. All good. To do, I really should put to, or set up a team tracker for the game or for watchers. But I don't know how involved that can be. Also, W two two eight seven N for group. Yeah. Also, I'm legitimately just waiting for, uh, what's it called, to go through home to connect so I can move everything from there into this and just not have an issue because I will have completed the yeah. Pokedex at that point. Right. That's part of why I wanted, or that's part of why I've been doing what I've been doing. <laughs> cool. Let's get in there, though. Because I am ready to try and do the other thing. But Let's so, uh, the uh, Team Star thing. Ah. Because, again, I'm mostly following what's already prescribed. Right. Like, I'm going out of my way to find more things, but past that, it's just, hey, what can we do? 
It's also nice that each thing gives you badges. So as it turns out, there are not eight badges in this region, there are 18 badges in this region. Yeah, technically. <sighs> it kind of works in a similar fashion to the Z moves like that. But none of them are stuck behind. Okay, I am in online, so that's good. I just need to get together and then be teleported to wherever it says. <sighs> do, 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 do. Oh. Huh. I was jumping down a cliff to go somewhere so I could get my next little uh, fast travel point, and I saw something weird and got close to it and realized what it was. Oh, neat. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, get your uh, fast travel point, and then we can join in together. Yeah. Not too far from it. some rest after this. starting to slowly feel the recovery pains of a bunch of arm work I did today. No pain, no gain, man. Yup. Now I'm already looking good. Got a lot more detail and detail in my arm. good with it. I just need to push more. Push more. Yup. But I'm also don't... It. Oh, it's up. Uh, W2287N. Hang on. I'm gonna stupid. Alright. Uh -huh. N. Yep. There you are. There I am. Yep. Let's see where it brings me. Oh. Cool. We are being shifted. Hello. You and your weird haircut. Yeah. Why are we out here? That's like the farthest from where I want to be. Yeah. I don't know why we're here either. Right. I feel like they should at least let us choose a spot to meet up. 
based right. off of places that both people have already unlocked. Right. That seems that seems like a good that seems like a good way of managing that. I've got my new team. And we are all ready. Hey, a grim thing is just standing here. I go up to this gym and it's already I can already tell it's yours. I ran into a one star raid with a wiglet in grass territory. Hell with that. Yeah. My time. yeah, it doesn't have... Like, grass type is interesting there, but it's not necessarily good. Right. Uh, Grim... Oh, never mind. I thought this was my crystal. It is yours again. <coughs> cool, run down the hill. Like, I think the gems, gems, like, these challenges might be easier than some of the randoms out there. Oh, I found a big pearl. And a great ball. And a wiglet. And this person, lady. Hello. I'm out of water, and hey, that's a Shellos. A battle... Do I have anything that's super effective, really, to Shellos? Sort of? But they're low level. So I would rather just... Uh, slam. Yeah. Yeah, I feel bad about beating up on you here right now. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm, I kind of feel bad for Claude Sire having to be the one that takes the brunt of all of this for the moment. Uh, he's, he's the boy. Oh, yeah, he, he'll be fine. Like, he's a ground and poison type, and I think the next major thing we're going into is fire still? I just need... I need this Shellos to stop using recover. Okay, Harden. Harden's fine. Harden something I can deal with. You recovering three times in a row was just a headache. And we crit hit. Cool. I just needed to check down on this beach. Monica the student. Okay. Uh, everything's different. Sure. Sure it is. I guess... <coughs> I think that's all I needed to do, aside from maybe that guy re-challenge, but I don't think I'm ready for that. He is much too strong for me. I from having a to actually freaking choke him, God. That was all? I hope you're alright, man. Yeah, I'm fine. No, it's like I got some cotton back in my Did bird. I battle enough people for you? Hello, rep. Uh, defeated seven. Oh, Ooh. lovely prize. Loaded dice? I'm at a three-star light or electric gibble. That's interesting. I'm trying to think of... I guess Lightning Fang would be a good one there. I'm trying to think of good moves for Garchomp in an electric type. You wanna come do it with me? Uh, sure. Where are you? Um, I'm gonna take my fear out of place. So, from where we were in Force Window. Yeah, I don't, there's not really a good way to tell you. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, can you start it in... Uh, oh, I could probably just join you from long distance, actually. Maybe. I don't know how this shit works. Uh, try and... Like, try and start an invite for it. They hit challenge or group and it's trying to communicate right now. Okay, terror raid battle. I'm gonna see if it brings me into yours. Yeah, that's you. I really should... Okay, What's wait. good for electric ground stuff? Uh, yes, actually. Ground and... I think ground primarily. What about steel? Steel, not really. Mm. I think I'm ready to go. We also yeah, might just be to... just us two. I'm not sure there. It'll, it'll put two NPCs in, I'm sure. I'm just trying to see if I have anything better to do with this mode. Uh, ground definitely would work. Uh, rock. What else is light electric weak to? Oh, they're, oh, they're only weak to ground. Yes, it... Yeah, steel Pokemon are not weak to it in any way. I'm just gonna bring Tank Tank. Oh, actually, steel is not good. Not good? Yeah. Oh, shit, I can't back out now. Oh, no, uh, it's fine. It'll be alright. Yep. Because. <laughs> yeah, steel does half damage, so. Hopefully, well, Tinkaton should be able to learn a ground type move. I guess we're going to end up having to wait the full time, or are you able to enter yeah. us now? Cool. You got a full party to raid with. Now to see yeah. if this affects it in a majorly negative way. Yeah. Uh. We're good. I still need to make my way to the uh, Team Star base. Yeah. These are still very loud. Light bulb. Light bulb. Hmm. Yeah, this is a level three too. I'm not sure how strong I'm am for this. Yeah, I'm Ow. Bonk. These don't give direct things, do they? Uh -huh. Like, these don't give direct experience. It gives experience, like, rocks. It'll be like candy and stuff, yeah. Yeah. And other items. You have to catch the Pokemon. Gotcha. Oh, Claude Sire down. Yeah, I even help you back shortly. Yeah. Ta -da. I didn't realize my oop <laughs> my bad. I messed myself up. Just button mashing. <laughs> and Claud Sire down. Yeah, I'm just a bit under leveled for three stars at the moment. I'm surprised there is one out here because I'm right by four condoms. Fair. That's a female gibble. But catch. And thank you for carrying me through this. Gibble was caught. I gave some good stuff. Ta wait. Yeah. 
Honestly, I could use some of the EXP candies to bump up some of the team that I'm using right now. If yep. if I am having trouble <clears throat> going into this next thing. Yeah, that's an interesting Terra type gibble. Like, build it to specifically do good for that one move. Right. Make it a special attack, Gibble. Yeah. <laughs> I, do, I, I, I don't know why that got to me so much. Oh, hello. It got to him, too. Like, after you started lighting into him. Right. I just want to play the game and have fun. I mean... <laughs> Right. Like I get I do get that though. Like I, I went too much into it. It just it bothered uh, me when a Pokemon just Like he had to have trained it in some way that made it tilt in that direction for the sake of like what he did or what I assume he did was followed their nature, which even even in that instance, I don't think the nature is worth doing that way. Right. If you're getting but close to one... Don't feel too bad about lighting into a medic because you weren't the only one. Jesse did too. Yeah. I tell you... Yeah, like, sure, play the game, have fun how you want to if you want to be bad. Yeah, like... In a lot of ways, I don't think there's... Like, I don't even think that Pokemon yeah. has very many special moves. He, it, it's, it's a challenging way to play. Oh, hello. Right. Uh, does the Operation Starfall of yours have room for one more member? Is that the is that the principal? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> well, who are you? A student. My name the name's Clive. Oh, and how long have you been spying on us? No need to get your hackles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here, isn't that right, Redris? I guess maybe. Haha, as shy as ever I see. Is that the principal, really? We're talking about going up against Team Star here, it's not something you can join in for fun. I'm well aware, I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star, that's all. Besides, I tend to get the job done well. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. I suppose I am hardly in a position to refuse help. Welcome to the Operation Clive. Great, that settles it then. I think I heard your name earlier, Cassi Cassiopeia. Was it? Who exactly are you? Alright, that name has come up twice recently. It is Kratos' daughter's name, too. Team Star and I share some history, that's all I'll say for now. I see, in that case, I won't press you further. Good, now back to business. Let's talk Operation Starfall. Yes, what would you have us do? Simply put, I want you to raid each one of Team Star's bases. Then you'll defeat the bosses on the team and put an end to their rule. Put an end to their rule? You mean we need to oust these bosses from their roles somehow? That's right, Team Star is made up of five squads and each of those squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front gates of one of those bases now, in fact. Ah yes, I can see them over there. On the other side of those is the base proper, and somewhere within that base lies one of your targets, a squad boss. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code of, that the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to battle, they have no choice but to accept. And what's more is, if they just happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. Like. I have to say this again. To build... Like, you can build a special attacker Garchomp. That, that's not... It's not the best way to do it, but it's surprising, and it will get people off their... Off their back... Off their... Off of their position, in a way. But... Yeah. Very much so, Garchomp is a physical sweeper. That's just how he is designed. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name, Redris. They're basically direct declarations of war. Now, all of Team Star knows that we're looking for a fight. So let's say we defeat all the bosses and they step down from their roles. What happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happens. 
It is a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. Each base has a bunch of, bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders, and the bases themselves are a considerable size. Your garden variety trainer would be overrun long before they'd get anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential to this Operation Redress. Defeat the Pokemon inside the base and drag the boss out from where they're hiding. First things first though, you'll need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. And what will you do, be doing in the meantime? Like I said before, I have a history with Team Star. That means I can't operate out in the open. I'll back you up from afar. Alright, and what will my role be? Sorry, but I don't trust you completely just yet. For now, I'd like you to monitor the bases and act as Redress's support. You're a cautious one, alright? I respect that. I'll be in touch again when the plan advances to the next stage. Good hunting out there. Oh, go get him, Redress. Yeah, Director Clavel. I have no idea what you mean, but if anyone asks about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you, nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, that, that's the director principal, whatever he gets to be called here. Tomato berry. Are these Team Star blocking the actual pathway here? <laughs> Hello. If you got complaints, take them off with the base. Too bad about face. Hey, they rhyme. Oh, no, can't do that. I mean, you could, really. Super Potion, yay! Alright, y'all. Let me in. I'm here to beat up you and your boss and everyone else. Whoa, whoa, you can't be here. This base belongs to Team Star. If you don't clear out real quick like, I'll have to come at you in self-defense, you get me? I'm not turning back. Well, right time for <clears throat> me to self-defense the snot right out of you. Sure, buddy. They've got good music. Alright. Houndor, meet Claude Sire. I'm gonna slap you. Mud shot. Bloat. Super effective. Actually, what is the... Okay, level 25, that's not so bad. Though I do need more of my team to be more effective than not. Hey, Mankey leveled up. Swagger, maybe. Covet, look, Fury Swipe, Slow Kick, Seismic Toss. Eh, I think I'm good for now. Defeated Team Star Grunt. Oh no. I defended myself alright, but it wasn't enough. I arrived at my destination. Cool. Man, you're crazy strong. Wait, are you that kid who declared war on Team Star? That's right. Whoa, thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my crew. Hasta la V-Star. Sure. Hey, Redris. Cassiopeia told me to scope out the fire crew's base. I thought I'd come with you some... Come give you some backup now that I'm through, but it se but seems you're all set. Foofloom? What? No, oh, hello, Char Cadet. Foo Is that you, Charlos? Foo. He named his name. He named his. He named his Pokemon Carlos with an H. I thought so. What are you doing here? Is this Pokemon yours? This is Charlos the Char Cadet. Foom. He's one of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of within its grounds. Woo! Ah, Charlos, wait. He ran off. It looks like he may have some connection to Team Star's fire crew. I better chase after him. Don't worry, I'll regroup, regroup with you soon enough. You press ahead into the base, Redress. Sure. Let's go, boys. Let's go beat up something. Rotototototo. Alright. 
I see you dealt with the grunt standing guard, nice work. I hope they don't go through this every time. Station inside that base is Team Star's fire crew, the Shad Shadar squad. Their boss, Boss Mela, is the best all-rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way. Their methods are heavy-handed. Our declaration of war must have made her blood boil. I bet even now her grunts are hard at work inside the base, trying to keep her fury under control. It means your best move is to take down all the grunts nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help Mela keep her cool, she should come out to confront you. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Cool. Let's knock them out. Yeah, we'll get to the end of this and be be good for it. Ding dong. Using the first oh first three Pokemon in my party. Uh, let's move. Actually, yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Change position. I'm gonna bring two rocks and a ground in. I think that works well. Don't you? Claude Sire, are you ready to challenge Team Star using the first thing Pokemon in your party? Yes. <laughs> That's neat. Just a fight bell off rip. <laughs> Claude Sire. Careful now, Redris. Team Star has a unique way of doing battle. They call it a Star Barrage. To get through it, you'll need to use the R button to send out multiple Pokemon and have them battle at the same time. If your Pokemon get low on health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. The grunts you'll be facing will heal up their Pokemon too, so stay sharp out there. It's up, gang. Some some jumped up kid has wandered in, thinking he can raid our base. Clearly, he doesn't. Clearly, he doesn't know who he's messing with. Let's teach him a lesson he won't forget. To our unwanted guest, if he can defeat thirty of our Pokemon in the next ten minutes, our boss. Okay. So it's just run around. I'm guessing. Yep. You're gonna use the let's go feature to fight. Cool. Cool. And it, uh, let's Okay, and it's just... This way. <laughs> you'll, you'll catch on pretty quick. Yeah. I think I get it in some way. Weird. Okay, I kind of need to target them to toss them out, don't I? Oh, no, it doesn't do that. Nah, he's pretty close to kind of basement. Cool. Go, Cloth. I fight these Growlithe. Yeah, the... Hello? There you go. Cloth, go for the actual target here. Alright, I should just have done that. There you go, finally. I was held up by just the game not functioning right. I think I have a better understanding of it now. You toss them out and let them deal with what's in around them. I think that works. Just need to get close. There we go. That was not that bad. I guess we're not getting experience for these ones, though, are we? Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now. Although we might get a lot at the tail end of it. Yeah. Oh yeah, this thing. The car Pokemon dealy. What's up? Hmm. 
Boss of Team Stars, Fire Crew, Mela. You're the dope. He, oh, so you're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you do something so stupid, and I don't care. You challenge us, so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Pre prepare to get messed up. Sure. I will fight you. With my rocks. I'm actually not sure. Oh, hey, she has Quick Ball. Challenged by Mela of Team Star. And a Torkoal. Quad Sire. Right here, right now, you're going down. Alright. Oh, it's a drought. That's not really that good for us. Alright, you're not. Oh, her Pokemon's level 27, okay. So this move will torch you. I'm actually curious. Sure. Let's just go for it. I might not win this if I'm limited to just the three. Although speeding down Torkoal is not a bad play. Wow! Crit, sure. What does our team look like? Okay, we have access to... Everybody. But also, Cloth has basically no health. Just in general. Not very effective. Might actually have to go... Go do some things. Granted, my team will change once we... if we lose to this. Alright, we're doing good. How do our levels look after... Rev of Room? I ain't burned it... I ain't burned to a crisp just yet. Oh, we're actually fighting the car. Alright. A little bit sometimes, yeah. Alright, cloth. That this Shadar Star Mobile. Oh no. Speed boost is not cool. At least for me. Let's do this, maybe? And we will try smack down on this fool car. Though, depending on how this goes, it might not work well. Oh, the rock one looks kind of cool. It looks like thing on Mount Olympus. Jeez, not very effective, my butt. <laughs> Super effective. Yeah, speed boost, though. Yeah, we'll try to smack down some more. Blazing Torque's not that bad. I kind of might revive Claude Sire here if I wanted to, if I really wanted to win. Should I try to do every fight without items? Like, items feel like they can be cheaty. I'm just kind of trying to decide. Hmm. Dunsparce. Hello. Ah. Rollout might be able to manage this, but I've got to gain like five or six levels for this to be re more reasonable, is what I'd say. 
Blazing Torque. Oh wow, you one-shot the Dunsparce. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, little... Sure. <sighs> Let's go for it. Ah. I do like the style here for it. Like, it looks neat. I just, I need more levels. I need to go run around beating things up with whatever I end up with next. Because items could work here, but I think what we'll do is figure up the next team and work with that. It'll also give me time to... It'll also give me time in over the week to spend time farming up some stuff and f improving the team whatever I end up with yeah let's let's go try you heard of the I I really rushed my way through here huh I didn't do enough battling yep full health and then once again we turn on the faulty tech to get up to Alright, so boxes, let's see what we actually end up with. Oh, the gibble does not belong here because it's not part of the challenge, it was just something I picked up along the way. And then we... I'll save that, and then pick swaps! Oh, jeez, alright. Uh, <laughs> grass type gets added. An electric type gets added. A fire type. Oh wait. No, that wasn't supposed to be actually. So it was one, two, four. Here, then you for Dun Sparse. And then the Tandem Mouse for Mankey. Yeah, I've got a few levels to get. I think the goal will be farming until about 25 on some of these. Because that will be just how to handle it, probably. I'm still getting notifications of me having beaten things. Actual challenge. An actual challenge. Okay. Yep. Well, level-wise, this thing I'm—I sent my. Uh, I'm worried about the grass type. Florigato is going to have a hard time in all of this. Wait. Actually, wait. Do I? I did move my Quaxley here, right? Yeah, it's there. It's just like the water types and the ground types would help big time. Actually, you know what? I feel dumb, but I forgot we just spoke about the fact that I could do this. Oh, there's somewhere in the mix here. They would probably be here, yeah. And see what I can do to actually... I like that it auto-sorts things for you now, rather than... I'm not gonna do the armor yet. But, let's see, the lowest level... are you, and I'm gonna just... I'm... They give a hundred. This the extra small candies give a hundred, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Tandem Mouse wants to learn Bullet Seed. 
Echoed voice, helping hand, super fang. All right, double hit. Uh, hmm. Sure, we'll take echoed voice, double hit, and deal with that. So you're a little bit more caught up. Then use this. What does the normal EXP candy small give? Two hundred. Two or three, yeah. Okay. What I should do is just do them one at a time. So it gave it gives eight hundred. <laughs> so it was definitely. Oh, oh, he's evolving. Cool. Palmy is evolving as I look through the floor. We'll look from this angle. Oh no, I have to get this thing walking, don't I? Oh, electric fighting. That's kind of neat. Right, the next evolution for Palmy is... Arm Thrust. Huh. Ooh. Okay. Uh, what are you better at? Hmm. I kinda like Dig. I'll get rid of Charge. Arm Thrust instead. Alright, and then we'll just bump the low numbers up slightly. Using candies. Learn to move bite. Oh. It needs a good electric attack, really. One, two, and ta da! Learn to bite instead. Char Cadet. Do two. It should guarantee a level. I think, wait, it got too many levels. Oh, because it's the big one. 21. Just getting this team a bit more rounded. Ooh, Nightshade. Nightshade. Yeah, okay. Equal to the user's level. Nightshade's not good at this level, is kind of the thing. Tentamouse Encore. Eh, I'm good without that. And then, I guess we'll just do Char Cadet again. And I actually need to get... Not you. Uh, I need to walk... Palmo around, don't I? Yep, sure do. And then evolve it. I guess the question is, is it worth it now, or does his evolution learn something better? The chunk? Fog off. At least he's faster than the other one. So he walks around with me. Uh, I'm actually going to check and compare because... Palmo. Palmot, let me make sure you, neither of you learn something particularly good at low or high levels. Ah. Okay, so wild charge at level 52. Oh wait, no, 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 that's fine. Hmm. Okay, so evolving him sooner is better. 
Hey, snow runt. Did you say something about it being shiny, or did I just misunderstand? Mm, no, I don't say anything, anything being shiny. Okay. I'm trying to decide how to dictate how many steps I've taken. Um, so it doesn't really take that long to do it. What I did is I just picked an area I was in and just kind of let them out, walked at a speed that they can keep up with decent enough. Yeah. And just kind of went around the outskirts of the area until I got back to where I originally was. Then gave them like some candies or a, or a rare candy and leveled them up. Gotcha. And, if it, and then it usually worked. Uh, um, and if I think I know what I'm gonna do. Again. Yeah. Could also pseudo cheat it because there's a thing that people have found out that if you are standing on top of something, they will circle underneath you. And I feel like that is worth it more than trying to run around. <clears throat> yeah, possibly. Although you also have to be able to get up there. Additionally, there's an interesting fire thing. I'll do the evolution. Actually, I need to do it on stream. There's a peach. There's a fire peachu. That's weird. You know what, we'll just try to do it on... Actually, yeah, that would probably work. So you need to keep up with me. That was a combi. I was confused for a minute. Leave me alone. I do not want to deal with that. I'm gonna walk around this city and hope that it works when I get back to a Pokemon Center. Yep. Because a thousand steps is not all that much. It really is. Ah, leave me alone. You nerds. We're just going for it. Full send. <laughs> Full send. Yep. Fair enough. Oh, I found a weird little Swedish fish gummy guy. Okay. Oh, he's level fucking 49? Goddamn. <laughs> ah, you're getting to the point where you're finding stuff that... A bit intimidating for you, huh? Well, no, like, I just fought something that wasn't even in the 30s, and this one's almost 50. Ooh, yeah, fair. Maybe it's something special. prefer the jacket look. Still, the clothes in this game are not fantastic. You little bastard. This thing just killed itself. I wanted to catch it. Ah. Did it self-destruct or just something you did cause like a confusion trigger? It used a memento. Oh, so it kills you just to get a stat down in a battle that will not continue when you do, when you when it kills itself. Come on. Also, giving him wild charge won't actually help in that gym, but 
it'll be something, and I still need to f uh, level grind for some things. Yeah. Arctabax? Yeah, it's um, one of the other new ones. Fair enough. I've had the, uh, the first evolution for a while. Hmm. Are you fucking serious? Maybe. I found another one of these things that's level 49, the little weird little gummy fish looking motherfucker. Yeah. He immediately, he immediately used Memento on me. That might be something you have to try quick balling over and over again then, if they're going to Memento on you. <laughs> yeah, sadly I don't have any quick balls right now. Ah. <laughs> Bag. Alright. Rare candy, and maybe this worked. It did! Yay. So we have our first fully evolved Pokemon. You know what's really bad about me going in on him about that? Is I don't typically take this game that seriously. And for some reason, that one really takes your boxes. Yeah. Revival Blessing. What does this do? Bestow, user bestows a loving blessing, reviving a party Pokemon that has fainted and restoring half that Pokemon's H max HP. So it's... Okay. Uh, no, but yeah. Sure. Cool, we did that. And now it's just gonna go... It's gonna be farming the rest of the way. Oh, he's pretty big, comparatively. He grew. Yay. Shit, some slowpokes that are actually swimming. Neat. Not there. There. Yeah, that's the right one. Are you sure they're not drowning? No, they're actually swimming. <laughs> Fair. Alright. So yeah, next major thing is going to be out okay. there, but for now I just need to fight things, really. Oh, I have a mass outbreak going on, apparently. Those are usually pretty fun. Yeah. And if you use them to farm shinies, you can go out there and um, use the let's go thing and just let your Pokemon have at them. Yeah. And it's if not a shiny shows far. up, they will not attack a shiny Pokemon. Yeah, I'd, I'd heard about that. Nope. Leave a mark out there, and okay. That might be just what I do here for the training for a moment. And we might see something cool. Yep. Who knows? Oh, wait. Ah. Okay, so it's a mass outbreak of Dreadnought in the water? Here? Interesting. Yeah. Which I can't actually get to. Which is less interesting. Oh, did I never fight a lit, lit Leo? Oh, now I have. And my Pokedex has expanded. I'm also curious. Is there only one in, in the map ever? Or can you find more? Of what? Uh, outbreaks. There are, are most I've seen is two. Ah, uh, okay. And they're not currently in the areas that I have... Well, there's one in an area I probably would not do well going to, and one in the area that I'm in now, and I can't actually reach. Yeah. Oh, that's fine and all.
There's apparently a chance for Dreepies to show up here. Damn. I'm near the last Titan. You're near the last what? Titan. Ah! Oh, hey. Dreadnought. Alright, so... I was able to deal with one of them? But this is a very... unimpressive uh, outbreak of one Pokémon. Yeah, I'm running for something that there's not that many. There are. There, there is a chance that they're just hidden in the wall. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm running to a swab, but they don't have a spawn. And I think I might. run around and do some more stuff in this area with this new team. Granted, they aren't, they're not good for what I'm trying, but, but levels can mean a lot. Right. What the hell is that? I do not know. Pig. I'm about to fucking fight it and try to catch it. Cool. Yeah. Having this one evolved Pokemon is definitely gonna be a nice boon, really. Yeah, bubble. I ain't running away from you. You got your mind. I'm gonna catch you. Okay, I'm getting better about the actual targeting of some of these Pokemon, too. Fight! I like that so far, mostly, you don't actually get, like, evolved Pokémon's parts. You get the parts of their previous evolution. Right. Holy shit. Uh, who's the lowest out here that we could probably deal with? Called you. Nice. <laughs> he, a, he a big boy. I imagine. He nearly one shot my tank tank. Jeez. I, like I can imagine. I think that's your favorite, uh, definitely new generation Pokemon. Uh huh. Toad School. 39.4 feet, 485 pounds. Jesus. Okay, Charcadet. Not prepped for doing these, huh? How about I you? Don Dozo? That's a weird yeah. name. He, he a big boy. So I, I bet. Yeah, okay. New. Alright. Yeah, I definitely need to try and get some of these Pokemon evolved. Oop. <laughs> Hello, Tauros. Alright. Uh, let me check. Some of them. Are you a level? Okay, you're a level base. That's good. Whoop em. Yeah, It's just gonna be getting out to there. Toad School, fight me! Now, it will be embarrassing if I 
is if I end up uh, getting knocked out by wild Pokemon while I'm trying to train. Yeah, I can imagine. But they're not giving terrible experience so far. And having my, uh, what is he called? Palmot has definitely improved my chances of getting good experience from higher level things and evolved things. Shit. You're small. Why are you so small? <laughs> No clue. It's a, it's a fucking avalog. Just a tiny avalog? I, my my go-go might be bigger than that. Really? That might actually be an extra, extra small. That's like, cool. It has to be pretty large. Yeah. I'm definitely not supposed to be out here, though. So I'm, about, I'm about to not go find <laughs> uh, the Titan out here. Fair. I'm still trying to figure out my next step properly. Well, I know what my next step is. I'm trying to get this team up to 25. Yeah, I'm actually just trying to do this next gym, but I got sidetracked. Oh, wait. Right. I forgot about that. Uh, bag. I'm using this for the evolution. I kind of forgot that I just looked up that Nako evolves at level 24, but it can't be from, uh... Cover? I think we're good there, but it can't be from the Let's Go battles. Nakoli is evolving! Our weird brick mushroom thing. And I've already gone over this episode by a few minutes. Oh, that looks cool. Knuckle stack. Jesus, 231 pounds. Oh, and he's got at least one more salt cure. Oh, is he a support mod? No? Inflicting damage every turn, steel and water types are more strongly affected by this move. That's neat. I'm gonna replace headbutt for that. That actually sounds kind of cool. Okay. Um. Let's see. I'm actually curious. Wattle now. Wattrell, sorry, because it's a kestrel. Oh, hmm. Jesus. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna just do this a few times and see what happens. Because, it, again, one level away, that was a good use of a rare candy, I think. Fuck it. Yup. Mm, fuck it. Oh, hey! Ah, I fucking knew it. Kilowattrel. <laughs> sure. He's bigger. That's a five foot bird almost. Electro Ball, you say? That's not a bad move. Uh, 73 speed. Yeah. Let's replace Spark on that one. <laughs> it's not going to be particularly helpful in the. F uh, it could be helpful in the fire gym. Alright. Now we want to see, uh, Tandem Mouse. I'm, I'm just curious there. Uh... Really? One more, one more, one more, all five. Oh, 
Okay. That's a weird one. So Tandem Mouse needs to have been in a fight. Like you have to actually send it to battle for its evolution to trigger. Yeah. But it doesn't have to stay out. Super Fang. No, avoided the attack. Yeah, I'm just setting up a little bit for next stream. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Ooh. I like getting evolutions on camera. I like Kilowattril's design. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I didn't like the small bird. The Not bird. really. Yeah, like the small one was a bit simplistic. The big one is really... It's kind of fun. Like, it Bird. looks almost like the Thunderbird decal. Ow. Rude. And I like that it, on evolution, gets Electro Ball. Alright, cool. Uh, I think that means we get the evolution of Tandem Mouse. And let's see if we get uh, a full family of three. Oh, wait. No, we, oh, we got a family of four. Sorry. Oh, okay, so the family of three is actually the rare one. Okay, that's fine. I didn't was a family of three. Yeah. So there's two forms it can take. A family of four and a family of three. So yeah, we're basically prepped for an extra time. I might put some more time into levels. And that'd be about it. Hi, Silazard. But cool. We are looking good. Well, we're looking reasonable as I am about to walk back into this gym for next time. Oh, we're not going to do it right now. And I'm going to actually... But my stats are a lot higher, I do have to say. Right. Like, I still have a Char Cadet, but he's higher level... I could try to evolve him soon, but I'm not going to until I get the proper item for it in my game. And then I'll have both versions, which is cool. Past that... Yeah. Yeah. Like... <clears throat> well, I just accidentally used 12 health feathers on the Go-Go. <laughs> oh no. I mean, he's a tanky enough Pokemon that that is good for him. <laughs> yeah, we will be ready to retry that battle next time with a bunch of reasonably more higher, more reasonably higher level team. <laughs> like, Knackle Stack will probably do me well. Like, honestly, Knacklestack, Kilowattril, and Palmot will maybe carry me through that next time. I don't actually know. But to everyone out yep. there, please stay safe, have a nice day, and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye! Oh, my spine! It just... <laughs> I, you know how I showed you that I put pressure on one side of my head and just make everything along the back pop? Yeah. I did that, and I just felt it everywhere, and it feels good. <laughs> but yeah, bye guys.